Hello! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create text that follows a circular path like this. And I'll also show you how you can create the connecting circle between the words should your circular text include the four cornerstones of a successful business organisation. So the first step in creating text which follows a circular path is to create text. So I'm going to go to insert and click on text box and then we can write out our circular text here. So we'll write out our circular text here. Now once you've done that the next thing you'll need to do is to click on the edge of the text box to select it and then come up to format at the top. Once you've gone to Format, come across to the area that says Text Effects and click on that. And then right down at the bottom of this menu, you'll come to Transform. Now you're looking for the Follow Path section, which is near the top here, and the third one in is your Circle. So we'll click on that. Hmm, doesn't look much like a circle yet, does it? Uh, however, we haven't really got a square text box, and you can't create a circle in a long wide rectangle. So what we're going to do is make our text box perfectly square. Now you could grab that and start trying to drag it out but an easier and better way of doing it is to make sure that your text box is still selected and then at the top right hand corner still within the format tab we have height and width and I'm simply going to change both of these uh, to 10 centimeters. And by doing that, we know we've got a perfect square. So here is my perfect square, and we can see we still don't have a circle. But if we look very closely at the text box, we can see the white circles, the handles, at the four corners and along the edges. But on the left-hand side, you'll see that one of those white circles is in fact yellow. If we grab this yellow one and we drag down, something tremendous will happen. You'll see that we are drawing a circle. And effectively what this does is tell PowerPoint how far round our circle we want our text to go. And if I carry on all the way around and we connect up on this side, we're saying we want a full circle. But we still don't have a circle. And the reason we don't have a full circle is because there's not enough text or the text is too small. So let's simply try increasing the font size now. If we click on the uh, increase font size button here, we'll see that now we've dragged around that little yellow circle. This text would in fact go all the way around um, for a full circle. So we can change the font, we can change the size, we can do all that sort of stuff, but there we are, we've now got text in a full circle. But what about that little circle around the back here that I showed you? How do we do that? Well, let me show you how I would do that using four separate words. So let's have a new slide, let's go to blank, let's in. Uh, stick our text box in here and we'll have four words and we'll simply call them one, two, three and four. So once again I'm going to click on the edge of the text box, head up to format and then go to text effects. Transform that into a circle and then change the size of my text box to around six centimeters in height and width. I'm then going to grab the yellow handle and pull it all the way around to the right hand side so that we've got a full circle. And the next thing I'm going to do is to actually put a couple of spaces, I think, between these words, make them spaced a little bit more. So let's put uh, three spaces between each word. It's a little tricky to do when you've got it upside down, but there we go. Now I'll increase the font size so that these go pretty much all the way around. We can play around with it a little bit, but uh, I won't spend too long doing it. Let's just stick that up to 50. There we are. So we have our four words. And now what I'm going to do is put a circle 
that goes around the outside or sort of around the inside. So I'm going to come up to Shapes, grab the Circle tool, and of course when you draw a circle with the Circle tool, it's sort of hit and miss as to whether it is in fact a circle, unless you hold down the Shift button. Now if you hold the Shift button, then no matter where you drag your mouse, you are always going to get a perfect circle. So that's a good tip. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm just going to roughly sort of get it to about the right size, something like that will do. And then what I'm going to do is click the text box to select the text box and hold down shift so I can select the circle as well. So again, I've selected the text box, click on the edge of that, hold down shift and click on the blue circle. The reason I've done that is that I can now come up to a line at the top and making sure that I've got a line selected objects I can align them center and I can align them middle. So now my blue circle is definitely lined up with the words. Next, I'm going to click on the blue circle and head up to format again. And I'm going to get rid of the fill. So I'm going to click on shape fill and choose none. Then go into the outline. Let's have a red outline so we can see this really clearly. And I'm also going to increase the weight or thickness of this line to around six points. There we go. So I now have my red circle perfectly lined up with my text, but of course the red line is actually going over these words, so I want to get rid of that section of the line. How do I do that? Simple. Cheat. Easiest way of doing this is to create uh, a shape uh, that covers up the part of the line that we want to get rid of. So let's just go into shapes and choose the freeform tool here. And this allows me to simply draw a rectangle that covers the part of the red circle I want to get rid of. Now we are, that's great, I'll do it again. So let's go to the freeform tool and cover up the part of the red circle that we want to get rid of behind the word three. And you'll see when I move my mouse over the start area, it's shaded blue, so I know I've completed it. Two more, so let's cover up word number one, like that, and then finally we'll cover up word number two, like that. Next I'm going to select all four of these blue shapes, so again I've clicked on one, I've held down the shift key and then clicked on the other three, and what I'm going to do is get rid of the outline, I have no outline, and we'll fill them white. Next, what I need to do is to send them backwards. So we've got layers here. We've got various layers. We have our red circle, we have our text, which actually is in front of the red circle, and we have the, uh, what they were, blue shapes, but now they're white shapes. Uh, we can do the layers by simply right-clicking and sending uh, backward. But what I would suggest we do here is if you just click off all that and you go to the Select tool, which is in the Home tab, we click on the Select tool and we open up the Selection pane, we can actually see the order of everything here. There's our text box, which we actually want to be in front of everything. So let's that drag that up to the top. Imagine you're looking down on this list and everything at the top is in front of everything that's underneath it further and further down. The oval, which is the red circle, we want that to be behind all these freeform shapes, so that's at the back. So once we've sorted out the order of our shapes here, we see that in our main image we now have our four words in a circle with a perfect circle lined up and only those sections of the circle visible between the lines. So there we are, that's how to create text on a circular path and also how to connect those words using circular arcs. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. It is massively appreciated. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please do leave them uh, below. I try very hard to reply to all questions and comments, and of course they do inspire future videos. Talking of which, if you haven't already subscribed, please do, and then you'll be first to know when I put out new tips, new videos, and new stuff that I hope you'll find just as interesting. Thank you again very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.